Look at it. Creating a new state is a monopoly of distraction. It's a monopoly of scattering the ideas of Prime Minister Simon Ekman of Jaffa government in exile. You know, our Prime Minister have already, Jaffa Prime Minister have already created 40 states of Biafra, which all states these people are trying to hijack now have only created in 40 states of United States of Biafra. In land of Biafra. Now, and they have seen that Biafra is reality. Biafra is autopilot. Biafra is unstoppable. And the man who is piloting the affairs of Biafra now is more calculated man. God bless with wisdom and understanding. As he blessed Nam de Carlo with wisdom and understanding. That is why in absence of Nam de Carlo, someone ever will, will are able to wear his shoe. And the feet and the feet someone ever well well. That's what someone ever can act in a way and Nam de Carlo is supposed to be to be. Mm. That's why someone ever was able to establish legion mm. offices mm. all part of Europe and all part of the world. Mm. That was someone Ekpa was able to create different government in exile and have good cabinets that are working with him. Mm. That he was able to create 40 states of the United States of Biafra. And they see that someone Ekpa already succeeded by the grace of God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, Chuko Kiki Abiyama of Biafra. Now they want to distract someone Ekpa. They want they want to and to duplicate or photocopy or imitating what some money have already done to create a new state. Some people have already created in, in Biafra and want to turn it to Nigeria. They want to turn it to Nigeria. And remember, this Olo state in the present Imo state of Nigeria, Olo state is known as Almost on the zone. And this, and this almost on the zone of this present Imo state of Nigeria was the last point, the last shooting between Biafra, between Biafra and uh, Nigeria in the first Biafra war. And uh, the most toughest place now. One of the most of us now in the Biafra land is the same Olo. And now they have seen that Olo has become a thumb in their flesh. They want to take control of Olo. Therefore, they want to hijack the state someone ever has created in the name of Nigeria. So that they will impose Fulani government of Nigeria held by Ashwaji Tulumbu through the governor. They will approve that governor to be governor of all state so that they can be able to have monopoly of all state. The remaining Imo state of Nigeria, uh, Fulani government approved governor. Um, can be able to have full monopoly of the remaining state of Imo state so that they make sure this hottest place in Biafra land, they take hold of it. In the pretense that uh, South East is supposed to have the same equal space with other geopolitical regions. Now they remember that South East are cheated because Biafra is at hand. Now they remember. And forget the time they come told them that South East needs one more state to complete this sisters according to other other political the political zone is is and uh, I, I think that should be in a uh, babangida or abacha babangida or abacha confirm then uh, the then former police inspector general i think uh, sambo sambo said no southeast 
don't live any state anymore. Mm. What they need is Igbo settlement. They should ask, ask of Igbo settlement all over into their land in any good state. Destroying their farm crops with cutlass, which air in the net. They leave objects and pushing the shadow of objects. Nigerian people, Nigerian government, leave the object they're supposed to pursue, pursue the shadow of the object. How can you think you can get the object? You cannot get it. So they should leave Jefferson alone. Let Jefferson solve their own problem by themselves. We don't want you. They're still forcing them to be with you. If you marry a wife and the wife will discover the condition of marriage is not good, it will lead to, to her death and say, I want to live, I don't want to die. By doing what? Divorcing you. Is it the force? Is it the force? You have been married with their friends, sleeping with them as you like, day and night, from, from front to from back. You are sleeping with them. They say, no, I'm tired. That your romance is enough. Leave me alone. I have one more children for you. Leave me alone. I don't want to die in pregnancy. You still want Biafra to die in pregnancy. It's impossible. It cannot be. But we said Biafra in Jesus' name. So it should not stand. Creation of another state. So it should not stand. It should um, not stand. I will ever promise I have said no. All the world Biafra stand and say no. But, but don't forget that as part of the first reading. That's part of the first reading in uh, National Assembly. First reading? Yeah. Second reading? And they're serious about it. Third reading? Mm. They'll be serious about it mm. so that they can hold monopoly uh. of Biafra. Mm. They can hold us. That's the old word. They mm. can pass it. Mm. Okay. What nation? Mm. What not? Mm. 2014 mm. National Cup uh, 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 mm. uh, conference mm. was by the other regime. Why can't they uphold it? Uh. Why can't they pass first reading and second reading and third reading and the last reading? Mm. Why can't they pass? Why can't I do it accord? Pass mm. first reading, second reading and the last reading. Why mm. can't they pass? But this one will be passed so that they take it to do divide and rule in Biafra. That divide and rule mm. to cause confusion among the Biafras in their land. Mm. They can pass it. My father told me that he do not say mm. a woman mm. should not talk. That woman has right to talk. But where he stand, mm. that thing that that woman said would mm. never come to be. Mm. So they have right to pass their bill, pass their everything. If they, 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 if they like, let them create a uh, Amadioha mm. state in Biafra land or Ojuju state in Biafra land. That one is for Nigeria, not for Biafra. But why Epa is doing what he's doing in Finland? Then again, secondly, who server this speech? Is you know accredited to whosoever is responsible to this speech. I don't mention anybody should come out and tell the world the reason why it is right for Nigeria to violate a treaty they went into many years ago. I mean, abducting people from another country into your own country internationally, according to uh, jurisprudence, that's law. What law is law, ideology, international law? It is right. Is it right? Is it right to abduct somebody instead of? Following the right through process of extradition, before bringing somebody home, you will now go to offshore and the what? Abduct somebody because you have money. You are a Nigerian. You are a Nigerian government. You are Nigeria. They are bribe and bribe and bribe. Give international communities billions of dollars while Nigerians are dying at home. And you use money and use money and give money to Kenya. You guys play the game of abduction. And today, Nandikanu is languishing unnecessarily, illegally at your uh, DSS facility. Tell a Jofo, as he called his name, as he mentioned his name, that he should go back to school. It is very good to be an educated person. When you are reading, you don't read to use vocabulary and all manner of English terminology to siphon the country's money or to intimidate the people that you are serving in the public institution. See, when you go to school, you become what? Mentally sound. Physically sound, morally, and otherwise. Listen and listen good. Ejiofa is trying to tell us that he has the, 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 the will power, the might, the government power. The, the federal might is behind him. That's why he's saying all manner of nonsense. Abatuna Nandekano and Simon Epa. If Ejiofa could be in, the right, in his right senses, he wouldn't have just come out and be saying all manner of rubbish about Simon Epa. Simon Epa is in Finland. 
doing his business there. The right thing to do is follow the right process. This is Nigerian government. Follow the extradition process. If it works out between Nigeria and Finland, Samonaba will be what? Brought home. I don't know what to understand. Because if Nigeria see the chance, the right way, for them or their own right way, they would have gone to Finland since and abducted Simon Epa. Criminality and illegality is the order of the day. But they cannot do it because Simon Epa is deeply rooted in Finland. And let me tell you, if Finland government is not behind him, seeing what he's doing as a writer, Simon Epa would have been extradited since last year. Are you listening to me? So it's no need of people running their mouth, claiming and accusing Igbo man of all manner of criminalities they are not guilty of. It's not all about telling the whole world that masked men are IPOB. How could you have solved the riddle behind the mask? Can you tell us who, who and who are behind the mask? Nobody can tell. But because we are Igbos, they are saying the maestro, the riddle, the maestro behind the, the mask are the Igbos. Oga, we are tired of suppression and oppression. As I am here, I'm tired of marginalization and people persecuting me because I'm an Igbo man. So come what me, whatever Jafar likes, he should do. Sabaraba is there. Finland is a country. Finland is still existing in Scandinavia, Europe. Are you listening to me? They are there. Nigeria should go there. No need of talking all manner of, saying all manner of nonsense on social media. But, 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 yeah, he is there. But he said um, they've not started the negotiation that Nigeria should um, start uh, negotiating with Finland as you guys it immediately that um, but I don't know, but do you don't think that if they start negotiation, if Nigeria start um, as I said, do you not think that the um, Finland might really bow to pressure from Nigeria to extradite? Oga, okay. I'm a human being, you are a human being. If what Simon Epa is doing is liable to punishment. Finland can do that. In Finland again, two, I made one point here. If what he's doing is wrong, liable to punishment. But that's liable to error. Finland will do the needful. Now see another point or two. If Finland is a rubbish country, a country where illegality is the common order of the day, a country that embezzles the money that the commonwealth that means for the whole finish. I listen to me. Finland can do so. If Finland is a, a country whereby people that are their president and prime ministers in Finland are above 190, I think as a result of mental deterioration, Finland can do so. What are you saying? Finland is an advanced society, advanced country of Europe. If you guys not take it, it's one of the most... Development is not all about when you tar road. Listen and listen good. You have development here. When you are developed here, Ogocha, it is finished. Upari. I listen to me. So what we are looking towards here is law. International law. I listen to me. Now they can read law. He knows law. That's why Nigerian court could not go anywhere. Now, as I'm talking to you now, no court in Nigeria is qualified to try, try a man that is free. A man that was free since last year. I listen to me. So what happened is, we know what we are doing. We know what we are saying. Nobody can tell us what to do. Because we know our rights. Nigerians know their rights. It's not about using soldier and police, shooting at civilians. This time around, Biafra has gone beyond that. Biafra now, you see, is a spirit. It's an idea. It cannot die. Kotsi, Rewan, that Yoruba guy. He said he's a spirit. To me, it was an idea before, but I can see that he has gone beyond idea. What? From idea to spirit. And you know that spirit is immortal. Oga, Biafra has come. You can't kill Biafra. There's nothing Tinubu can do today that will kill Biafra. What Buhari did in the past, Biafra is still alive. What Obasanjo did in the past, Biafra is still alive. What Adekule Scorpion did in the past, Biafra still lives. Okay? Long live Biafra. Long live Igbo land. Long live Igbo man. Okay? 
on the basis of oppression, persecution, Oga, we are here. We are not going anywhere. Biafra has come. Okay. Um, but um, during uh, during during Epa and um, Tosu, during Epa during Epa Tosu uh, with um, Shion Kutsi, you know, it, it meant um, Shion was like um, Epa should come down here and fight for um, Biafra freedom, um, um, liberation. But you know, do, do you not think that um, do you not think that uh, Epa? Uh, do you know, do do um do like um what Jofo said? He said Epa should come home and fight for um a Biafra. But do you think it's wise of him to c come down? Or he should remain um there in um, Finland fighting for his people. Uh, that uh, Jofo is talking like someone that has not seen four walls of university or school. That Epa should come home and fight for Biafra. Are Biafra is fighting? Are we fighting? We are fighting the war of the mind. The war we are fighting started since 1970. Now after the war. We started the war, fighting the war of here, intelligence, mental war. So I wonder if a GFO himself has known classroom before. Because he talks like a poorly educated man who has not even attended the university. And he was given that kind of position. Look at what he's saying. He should come back and fight. Are we fighting? Who fights who? Nigeria fights Biafra. Buhari fights in Nandekanos compound. He was the one that unleashed that kind of mayhem on a palace. They scattered the palace. The man died. The man's wife died. The Nandekano's father is the man I mean. The wife I mean is Nandekano's mother. They lost their life. Buhari sent Nigerian military to the scattered in Nandekano's palace. As a result of that today, Nandekano's father and his mother died. Nigeria has very wicked country could not even send condolence message to Nandekano. Imagine that kind of downgraded human inhumanity of man against man. When Buhari was there as a president, all this thing happened. Buhari could not stretch forth his handshake of at least reconciliation or, you know, yes, emotion to say sorry to the man. Do you know that Buhari? 150,000 Buhari could not watch ordinary finger of Nandekanu, a finger of Nandekanu. So I don't equate both personality at all. Nandekanu is too further than Buhari and his cronies. And here comes here today. Tinubu is just manifesting Buhari and denying it that only Igbo should be free and Nandekanu is there. And later will tell us that he went to Toronto University and Chicago. Or that when you went to school, if you behave, if you interact with people, they will know that you actually went to school. So let me tell you, what I'm seeing here in this part of the world is not right at all. Nigeria is not doing well at all. What they did, what Nigeria was under Buhari, what Nigeria is under Tinubu today. Oga, I totally write them off.